His story captured the hearts of so many people. Jeff DeFulgo went from living an active life, helping others overcome long odds, to fighting his own personal battle. And it happened in a matter of seconds for Jeff. The personal trainer from Virginia Beach was paralyzed after diving into a sandbar. It happened months after we featured him, helping to rehab Willie Berman, a quadriplegic. Tonight, Stephen Graves checks in with DeFulgo, who has a goal of walking again and no plans of giving up. Hey, those words aren't even close to being in Jeff's vocabulary. We met him in Atlanta weeks ago. That's where he was getting care at the Shepherd Center. It's been a journey that's had its highs and lows with the dose of reality, learning not only how to deal with the physical, but emotional as well. It feels so weird compared to that one. Doesn't it feel weird? It feels like you're sitting yeah. in nothing. From teacher to student. You're going to pull with that right arm back okay. this way. It's going to be that type of motion. Expert to novice. Your upper body. You got it. It's tough. Today, the focus for Jeff DeFulgo, moving from his electric wheelchair to a manual one. Sounds simple? Well, think again. I'm going to try to keep you in the middle straight now. See if you can kind of just push from here. You got to do weight shifts. You got to turn. You got to do this, that. Um, it's just there's so much more than than just existing. Each step in movement is new. You okay? Yeah. Good. Okay. This is cramping. And this is just the start. A change of motion and mobility literally means a change in lifestyle. Email. It means learning to speak commands into a computer. Backspace too. While he has arm movement, his fingers aren't the same, which means typing is no longer an option. How's it been with Jeff? It's been awesome. Jeff is like has been like a fighter since he's been down here. And a fighter gains his title by being tested by battles. Weeks after being here, he faced a bacterial infection. I was nauseous feeling here, couldn't get out of bed, couldn't even get in my chair. He ran a fever of 104. Um, so it's time to call um, the ambulance. Four days in the hospital, but a fighter gets up. The moment he could get back, he did, overcoming frustrations. <laughs> Okay. So see if you can get your hands back like this. So you're going to scoot those hips forward. Oh, sh yeah. Even during our sit down interview, he had to take breaks, leaning his wheelchair back. Um, just a weight shift. So it gets all the weight off my tailbone, um, which is not good because I could get like a skin um, lesion or um, open sore. So every 30 minutes, I actually have to lean back. Some would consider it a cruel irony. Jeff says he doesn't like taking pictures as much now. It's even the constant facing of the question, why me? I think that's where I get emotional because I don't know why. Um, because I was helping people um, with spinal cord injuries, with all types of ailments. Um, but I try not to ask myself that because that's really where I get caught up in emotions. And the emotions spread to his many clients who are now left without a trainer. Like Willie Sketch Burnham, we featured the two who have become like brothers. They're especially bonded now. Um, one day I was fine walking, running around, working um, with Sketch, helping him walk again. And then the next day on a Saturday, here I am getting hurt. But Jeff's support system does get him through the Virginia Beach community, his parents, and girlfriend Madison, who he actually credits for being alive. She pulled him from the water after that accidental dive into a sandbar in Croton Beach. I was okay, but I could feel where I couldn't hold that position forever. <laughs> I have a breaking point. <laughs> That's really another thing that gets me kind of emotional is that she really did save my life and, and now I'm here and I kind of have to work for that because she did save my life. A motivation and never give up attitude. While out of his regular job for now, that's the new thing he hopes to teach others. Just be happy with your situation no matter what it is. Don't ever wish your life was different or or anything like that. Just be happy with what you got because it can be different in the matter of a second. And um, just be happy with what you got. One, two, three. And right now, Jeff is back in Virginia Beach. But since filming this, he did face another setback. It put him in the hospital. Family says he is at home, though, doing better right now. If you would like to help the family out with medical bills, we have a link to do that on our website, 13newsnow.com. Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.